As for what the future is, I, I, I'm not sure. What I like about motion capture is that it's very accessible. So, uh, you know, the, think about what the DSLR did for filmmaking. Suddenly, you didn't need a, a film, expensive film stock. You didn't need all of this gear to be able to make a movie. You could take an, an affordable digital SLR, a couple of vintage lenses, and uh, make a movie. And I see motion capture doing the same thing. You know, HTC Vive, um, you, can, you can buy a few extra trackers, um, plug them into Unreal Engine, download an, a special plugin, and you can do motion capture in your living room, you know, for under, under a thousand pound, which is incredible. And I've done it and it works. And, and, you know, I just bought an app for my phone called FaceCap, which means I can do facial animation with my iPhone 10 and apply it to a character in real time, you know, so, Already, I've got almost a full performance capture set up for under £2,000. That's extraordinary. And I think that's going to mean that people will make use of things like Unity and Unreal, download all those free assets, and make short films or, or feature-length films. And that's, that's an incredible step for, for, for creators to be able to do that. Um, so I think that that's really promising. You know, I just read online the other day they're going to resurrect James Dean for a, a role in a movie, which uh, has some ethical questions, if you ask me. But still, you know, um, that's that's what they're doing. So I, I I don't know. Maybe they will switch to full CG movies, or maybe people will miss the magic of, of knowing they're looking into a, another human being's eye. I'm not sure, but. Um, I think regardless, it's a growing medium. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. The technology is improving every year. So it's going to become a significant portion of the uh, movie making industry, but it's, going to, it's massive for video games. You know, video games, if you want to get performance into a video game, motion capture is the only way to do it. And so that's just going to get bigger. For people who want to get into it, I would say, um, recognize that motion capture is a physical medium. It's about motion in space, and that's often neglected in other mediums. You know, in theater, it tends to be considered more, but in film, often the physicality of a character is not as important. In motion capture, you've really got to be thinking about whether you're expressing with your whole body. You know, Andy Serkis calls it pure acting. I agree with that. I think it is a... Uh, one of the reasons actors love our classes is because we take them back to that full body, full, full sphere acting. So make sure that you've got that down. But also, the most crucial skill is acting. That's number one. So make sure your acting is up to scratch. <laughs>